Geometry Dash has always had players trying to make and verify the hardest demon possible. The 9 year old history of the game has always been about pushing the limits, even the first players tried to make something harder than anything before. 7 years ago, Riot, a legendary player verified the hardest level at the time, which wrote the history of the entire game, and started a wave of insanely hard demons coming out. It was Bloodbath. Oh my god! <gasps> It was the hardest demon by far, so difficult, most players at the time thought it was impossible. Now that the level is older than a lot of Geometry Dash players, Bloodbath isn't even in the top 200 hardest demons. Players back then couldn't even imagine beating anything harder, they thought it was the human limit. As of now, Sukupan Circles and Slaughterhouse are the hardest demons ever beaten by human. Abyss of Darkness has the potential to be the next top one if it gets rated. I will talk about 6 of the best and hardest upcoming demons of the next 2 or 3 years which could even push Abyss of Darkness out of the top 5. Without further ado, let's get right into the list. Silent Club Step, the oldest level on this list, was originally being built during the 1.8 era, 8 years ago. To demonstrate how long ago it was, Hexagon Force and Dual Game Modes were added to the game at that time. Silent Club Step seemed to be literally impossible back then, so much that someone getting through the first Blue Orb spam was considered a god. Silent Club Step was built by a creator called Silent, who is also known as Nautilus2k. The level is known for its ridiculous spam parts and frame-perfect timings. Many say that the first 14% is much harder than the rest of the level, but we have a lot of great news regarding to the level's progression. Vision, who has been trying to verify this level for 22 months, has been getting some remarkable progress recently. His best runs being 65, Ooh. I got 65 on Silent Club Step! And 14200 in just over 430,000 attempts. On the screen you can see a few other mentionable runs he got. Feel free to pause the video. Aside from that, Real Wet and their team has redecorated the entire level and now it looks very fresh and stunning. While I'm on this topic, I have to mention that Silent has recently made a return to the community and built another version of this level. Silent Club Step 2. Iced Cave said that this level will get higher quality decoration to make the level look more up to date. Maybe two Silent Club Step parts are going to be in the top 10? We will see, but let's leave this for later. Back to the verification progress of the original Silent Club Step, Vision seems to have abandoned the level, or at least he is taking a break while Cursed, the verifier of Abyss of Darkness, is focusing on Silent Club Step really seriously. He already got 24 to 100 and posted a video of it, which is extremely close considering that he has only been playing it for a few weeks. Regardless, Silent Club Step has the potential to be the next top one. Acheron is a level that is really similar to Tartarus, and it can easily be said that it's a sequel to it. It was unexpectedly announced and hosted by the same guy, Riot. The first time publicity saw the level was in July 2021 after Riot's comeback. As more and more people were referring to the level as a Tartarus sequel, Riot finally stated that it has nothing to do with Tartarus. This caused insane confusion among many people because the design is the exact same, but at the same time the song doesn't fit the level at all. Listen. Now you know what I'm talking about. I was also confused. Ekron is actually a fast-paced timing mega collab hosted by Riot and Ryamu, featuring 14 other creators. As of making this video, it currently doesn't have an official verifier. However, there are a lot of people attempting to do so. Wolves, who has made a much more significant progress on the level than anyone else, has unfortunately dropped the level not so long ago after dying at 96%. He explains how Acheron has affected him in a negative way. I even asked him why exactly he dropped Acheron. He has an answer that surprised me. According to his announcement, he dropped it due to health issues. But what health issues exactly? He told me on Discord that he had anemia and adrenal fatigue, which basically means that he cannot focus on anything for really long without getting exhausted. 
According to him, Acheron could be top 1 by far. The level is actually really short compared to the rest on this list. It's only 67 seconds long. Even though it's short, it has its fair share of tough gameplay. But Cursed, the very fire of Abyss of Darkness, said that the level is very fun and he may go for it in the future, so who knows, maybe Cursed will be able to pull it off and verify another top 1 demon. He has already gotten 54 to 89% in roughly 2000 attempts. On the other side, Moriarty has managed to get 40 to 94. One Alpha Helix has managed to get 17 to 82 on it as oh well, God, a 67 dude. from 0. He's a relatively unknown guy in the community, but has a huge potential to verify Acheron. And there is Thunder, who has gotten from 17 to 51, and his current best on it is 38. As you can see, many people are working on the verification of the level, and there is no settled verifier. Regardless, Acheron is an extremely challenging level, and I think this level will see the light of the day soon. If you've been watching the video for this long, thank you so much. If you like what you see so far, please consider subscribing, it helps me a lot and you can unsubscribe anytime, thank you. Azure Flare by N Level, the hardest 9 circles level ever, has been in the making since 2019. The level almost got cancelled permanently, but luckily it was revived and buffed to the current version. More about that later. It is actually a sequel to Arctic Lights by Metal Face, which is also an extremely hard 9 circles level, being top 42 on the demon list currently. But let's not talk about Arctic Lights for now. Aiden, the verifier of Azure Flare, has gotten 77 on the old version of it, but in 2021 the level was updated into a much harder version, as I said, with newer decorations too. This version is believed to be a serious competitor to several upcoming top ones, such as Acheron, Orochi, Silent Clubstep and Deimos. Not the Phobos sequel, but another upcoming extreme called Deimos. Since the buff date, Aiden's progress has been slowing down, with his new best being 36 and 61 to 100, but he does mention that the level is extremely first half heavy. The level has over 100 60Hz frame perfects, and to put it into perspective, Slaughterhouse has only 65. The insane timings and the speed altogether makes the level so hard. Aiden the Verifier himself said this, the final boss of 9 circles levels, and the hardest one of them all. Beat this and you will be a legend forever. Even though progress reports haven't been as frequent, he's still playing the level behind the scenes. His determination is really something to admire. I mean, like his YouTube channel's description is just the word determination. He currently has over 400,000 attempts on the level, and that's just as of November 2021, and who knows how many attempts he has now. All we can do is hope and support Aiden on his incredible journey that may be finished soon. The GD community first heard the name Galaxy Collapse when Noctofly posted his video When you act like a god for 10 seconds, in which he showcased the really fast-paced extreme demon layout with a really click dance wave part. It was thought to be a legit completion and no one could believe their eyes when they saw it, but eventually, after a lot of cheating scandals, Noctofly admitted that the Galaxy Collapse footage was also hacked, but in this case we're not talking about that level, we're talking about a mega collab with the same name that Trust hosted. Even though they are different levels, they are similarly fast, and I'm pretty sure the second demon was heavily inspired by Noctofly's level. It also has the fast wave part at the drop. The first official preview on Trustless channel was published in very early 2020. It featured various types of gameplay alongside the same intense song. The level is mostly famous for the wave part at the drop, which looks completely out of this world. Also, I have to mention that the last wave part requires 12 clicks per second to pass. I can only imagine what would happen if a player died at the last wave. Galaxy Collapse is very brutal and unforgiving. The layout was made by Trusta, Ilrel and Mezzo. Currently a team of 16 decorators are working on the level and as of the latest reports the entire level is 60-70% to 70 done. Most of the community had declared the level as dead, but since Trusta came back to YouTube, he started gaining skill in the game again, and after beating a lot of really hard demons, he decided to accelerate the progress on the level. Yes! There are currently unofficial previews of the level, which are compilations of different parts, and it looks mind-blowing. Trusta also mentioned that he is willing to spend hundreds of thousands of attempts into this level, and he is most likely not going to nerf this time. The current best run is from 45 to 56, which is only 11%. This level is sure to be finished somewhere this year, so look out for that. 
Not sure about the verification this year. This level is easily the most legendary level that has ever been a potential top one. It was announced by Noble Boy only a few weeks after he verified the former hardest extreme demon, Bloodlust, in 2018. This new project he announced shocked the community as a shockwave. Bloodlust was harder than anything at the time and we thought it was impossible to make something significantly harder. But only weeks after the never-ending grind on Bloodlust ended, we were suddenly shown a level which was many, many times harder than anything we had seen at that point. It was Orochi. I didn't even have to stress how iconic this level is. Official progress reports haven't been common at all. The last one being over two years ago. The first preview is already four years old too. What exactly makes this level stand out other than the song? Now you can have a clue why its hype is incomparable to other levels' hypes. Also, Orochi has a very interesting backstory. It was originally started by Plat New in 2017, but was later given to Noble Boy who turned it into a collab. He then contacted Zephyrox and G and started further decorating this beast of a level. The level is currently 80% done as much as we know. Maybe G is still out there decorating their part. In the 2019 preview, Noble said in the description that it was only G who was finishing the level. Three years ago, where the hell is it? As of right now, Noble Boy remains as the verifier of the level, but unfortunately last time we heard from him was back from October 2020. Will he make a return? Only time will tell.